hey what is going on guys in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to create this planet icon with Inkscape um, pretty much showed that there are many tutorials on YouTube to create this kind of uh, planet with Illustrator but I'm gonna be showing you how to do this with Inkscape so let's get started open up your Inkscape and uh, grab the squares and rectangles tool and uh, create a square like this um, we'll round the square the corners of the square a bit so just click and drag on this circle and just round the corners not too much and uh, grab the rectangle tool again create another rectangle let's change the color and also make sure that it's fully rounded okay now uh, I'll be placing this uh, I'll be aligning this to the left of this blue shape I'll make sure that you have these snappings turned on so yeah uh, control D to duplicate this shape and uh, move it over like this Selecting both these shapes, Control D to duplicate them and move them over. I'm gonna repeat this process. I'm gonna fill this completely, and we don't need this one. And uh, select all of these and just squeeze them in so that they align properly to this shape. The next thing you want to do is select all of these and go to path, object to path. Now you'll, you can edit the nodes of each of these shapes individually. And I'm going to select the first one, move it up. So this process I might not be talking much while doing this so I'll just finish I'll start talking then once I finish this thing okay Okay, now once you are done with that, we'll select this first one and leave the one with which is next to it. And uh, we select the first one and the third one, and the fifth one, leave the sixth and select the seventh. So we'll be selecting this in like in like in odd numbers. So first one, three, five, seven, nine, and eleven. And uh, hold shift on your keyboard shift key on a keyboard and click on this blue shape as well go to path union now select these red ones go to path union and uh, select both of these shapes go to path difference and now we'll create a square I mean a circle like this and uh, it might want to move the circle to the top of the you might want to move this shape to the top of the circle and uh, can align this let's see we turn all these snappings for a moment And I'm just gonna position it uh, properly all right so we can uh, further change the uh, size of the change the length of these uh, these 
trails first of all you just delete the nodes in the middle we don't need them and uh, if you're not satisfied with the length of these trails you can uh, increase or decrease them again the same method highlighting all of these three nodes and uh, varying the size and also change it from this side Okay, that's looking nice um, just select this circle shape control D to duplicate it and hold shift on your keyboard shift key on your keyboard and select this blue shape go to object clip and set and you will have this shape right here so uh, we have successfully created this planet uh, you can change the coloring it's up to you you can give it a different color any color you want but I'm just gonna leave the tutorial I'm gonna just leave it that up to you it's up to you what you what color you want to select but uh, yeah and uh, most forgot you can also edit text or you can just highlight all of this uh, group them together you go to filter shadows and close drop shadow and uh, if I do a live preview see that uh, it will apply a uh, drop shadow and this is the settings that I've kept so blur radius is 7 and horizontal offset should be 0 and then hit apply and close out of this and there's your shadow now for the text you can uh, write anything but I'll go with the thumbnail of my video and uh, the font that I'll be using is Helvetica new mm -hmm. and so I'm just gonna enlarge the font change the color to white and uh, I'm gonna increase the spacing between the letters maybe 100 200 no 100 is the maximum amount that you can choose for this okay so that is I guess that's it for this tutorial that's how you create the planet and um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, please uh, like this video if this helps you if you learn something new and uh, I'll see you in the next one.